to grab an isotherm tool and I'm going to come over here on the scale bar and I'm going to click on there and now I just ISO everything in that specific range, right? And I just put another ISO tool on there and I put another one and I put another one, put another one, and I put another one. So I've got a bunch of different ISO palettes on there. And I'm going to click on that and I'm going to get rid of a bunch of those because I don't want all those babies on there. I just want this one. And I'm going to click that remove tool off and click back on my image and I can size that isotherm to where I can highlight one specific area. Let's say I want to look and highlight everything on that image that is, you know, 100 and this would be uh, 140, there's 150, so there's 145, so I've highlighted everything from about 145 up to about 147 degrees, right? And I can see that spot right there. And that's cool right there. Yeah. So that's an isolated thermal region, and I can I can highlight that specific point, and I can make that stand out in a red background, or pick any of those isotherm colors. And where I pick the isotherm colors is when I go again to settings, and I go to analysis because isotherm is 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 a, an analysis tool because it's giving me temperature data. So anything to do with analyzing the image, okay, is giving me temperature data is going to be under analysis. Anything to do with object parameters is going to have my things like distance and relative humidity and background temperature and ambient temperature and all of those things that we're going to discuss today.